everyone. This is Dennis here. I'm with Joey. How you doing? And yeah, we're doing a kind of breaking news yeah. piece here. This uh, is not something that we normally do, but my, my gosh, we need to talk about. I this. I was surprised that when I, I when I saw this, I saw this uh, pop up on uh, one of my social media feeds. Telltale Games apparently is going to be. Cl- they're not closing down completely, but it, yeah, it they're approaching being completely shut down. Gamma, uh, Gamma Sutra reports that a team of 25 employees will remain on board to finish uh, the Walking Dead final season, but other Telltale projects have been canceled, uh, including Netflix's Stranger Things and a second season of The Wolf Among Us. So that's <sighs> that one hurts. That one hurts. Yeah, I was I was a big fan of their Game of Thrones yeah. series, and I was really looking forward to a second one. And now that's gone. This kind of I don't know. I, this was surprising to me. I thought they were doing well. I mean, I know they had laid off some employees last year. Uh, yeah. but I don't know. I, well, what are your thoughts? They had a big boom after that game, uh, the, uh, the first Walking Dead season that yeah. they did that kind of put this version of episodic choose your own adventure gaming on the map. They had done stuff before that, especially with like Back to the Future, mm-hmm. uh, and, and things like that. But this, you know, really brought to the forefront what what this kind of gaming could do. And it was a more casual thing. You know, you can play it on your iPhone. I have a couple of the Telltale games on my iPhone just so I could uh, play through them before uh, the, the new season mm-hmm. had started. Um, Wolf Among Us is one of my favorite games of all time. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like, it, it's a really good story. Um and th- I am I am fucking hurt that that we yeah. don't get a, uh, a a new one. Yeah, yeah, I, more I, than anything. I, yeah, I'm upset. I'm we're not, I'm not gonna get a Game of Thrones. I play yeah. the Back to the Future game. I play the Walking Dead game. I'm not caught up on the Walking Dead, but I have I have them all purchased yeah. in you know in my queue. So they got my money. You know. Yeah. Like, um, and I thought they were getting everyone's money. I thought they were doing well with uh, the the way that they were making money on this. You know, uh, episodic games is not something that. Um, We've seen a lot of when it comes to great success, Mm -hmm. but they were one of the ones that were doing it, at least I thought. And this didn't, they haven't said exactly why this is, correct? You know, there haven't been real reasons. It's just been, hey, look, we're shutting down. After the recording of this video, Telltale Games released this official statement. Today, Telltale Games made the difficult decision to begin a majority studio closure following a year marked by insurmountable challenges. A majority of the company's employees were dismissed earlier this morning, with a small group of 25 employees staying on to fulfill the company's obligations to its board and partners. CEO Pete Howley issued the following statement. It's been an incredibly difficult year for Telltale as we work to set the company on a new course. Unfortunately, we ran out of time trying to get there. We released some of our best content this year and received a tremendous amount of positive feedback, but ultimately that did not translate to sales. With a heavy heart, we watch our friends leave today to spread our brand of storytelling across the games industry. One of the people that I really want to talk to about this is Mark Fernandez, uh, Mm -hmm. because Mark actually worked directly with a lot of the people at Telltale. Mm -hmm. Um, He produced a documentary on Telltale Mm -hmm. and and the company and, and the unique things that they were doing. Um, so I'm, I'm really interested to get his perspective on this. Um, for now, I think that, I mean, this is kind of how I felt when, when Irrational went away, Mm -hmm. you know, when we, I knew we were going to be losing something like Bioshock, we were losing, uh, Ken Levine's Mm -hmm. story, um, uh, storytelling. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is kind of the same feeling that that's this sat in the same place for me you know tales of the borderlands is Mm -hmm. great game of thrones Mm -hmm. is great um you know you can say what you will about each and kind of compare them but they were they were different from what else you were getting i've been playing other uh episodic games as part of like the reviews that we've been doing and things like that like uh you know i've been playing the council a little bit Mm -hmm. and telltale set the bar when it came to choose your own adventure um, episodic gameplay. Mm. And that's what every one of my uh, game reviews is going to compare to, and that's what every game from now on is going to be compared to. And it's it's sad to see them go. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, I always talk about Telltale Games in the way where 
it wasn't quite like a full blown video game. It was more like interactive storytelling. Yeah. And then the way that you play it wasn't about how fast you can twitch your finger or whatever. It was about making choices and decisions that affect the story that you were watching. And and because they they wrote them out in, in such a way that made you emotionally involved with the characters, the dialogue was good. You know, like there was a lot of things that they did right that sucked you in. Because normally you look at a, tape, a type of game that Telltale makes and if you look on paper, you're like, Really? I'm just going to press A, B, C, D or whatever. Right. Oh, and, you know, left, right, you know, here but and there. It, but it worked. But to me, it was it was also um, it was it was twofold because it was great for people who wanted to step away from, you know, fast twitch action games yeah. and, and do something a little more passive. But it was also great for the people who had not played video games growing mm -hmm. up, who were getting into it for the first time because they're their friends were playing video games and they didn't understand what, you know, this was all about for people who had only ever played mobile games, who mm -hmm. all of a sudden had this great narrative that they could get on their phones. This was, this was a gateway drug, yeah. you know, telltale games were, were gateway drugs, uh, into gaming. And you know, what is our point of accessibility now? Yeah. I'm, I'm really disappointed because then you take, uh, like you mentioned, it's like, Let's say someone doesn't play video games, but they love Game of Thrones. Yeah, and the, the they, franchises as well. Yeah, and they the would check. Draw. I mean, that was the thing is that was the perfect marriage because they would be able to get a license that people w were passionate about, and they would check out the game. And it, the the game itself wasn't daunting. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like oh, you got to press X B, like all the stuff that would make them kind of a little wary of, of getting the game. It's very you know it's yeah. slow paced but at the same time and, it, it and brings they've, you they've, in. they've had some misses you yeah. know i think their guardians of the galaxy game went completely under the radar mm -hmm. that sounds like you know a match made in heaven mm -hmm. but it just it didn't click with a lot of people and you know maybe it was a marketing side of things maybe it just released at the same time as something else huge i don't remember off the top of my head i remember when it was announced and i was really excited and i remember after it had come out mm -hmm. and not having played it and not feeling like I'd missed anything. So, you know. I did not play the Batman game. Did you play that one? I That was the first one that disappointed me. Oh, um, really? The, okay. S season one of Batman was the first one that <laughs> actually disappointed me. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, so I mean, they, they, they weren't all gems. Yeah. But they were all um, unique. Yeah. And that's, that was the biggest thing, I think. Yeah. All right. Um, hopefully, maybe we can get Mark on to our, our next uh, Collider Games podcast. Uh, let us know what you guys think of this. Did it come out of the blue for you? Do you guys love Telltale Games? Which one? Which series are you going to miss the most? Uh, yeah, obviously for me, it's going to be Game of Thrones. What about you? Um, Tales of the Borderlands, but uh, for me, uh, it, Wolf Among Us Two. Okay. Wolf Among Us Two was something I was so looking forward to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. that's tough. Yeah, uh, where can people find you, Joey? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, Joey Rasul, R A S R. Wow, I can't even spell my last name. <laughs> that's how J O U I R A double S double O L. You can also check us out on twitch.tv slash collider video. And you guys can find me on Twitter at Think Hero, Instagram, Dennis.TZNG. And make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Collider Games. And also, we, have, we are on our podcast feed on the Collider Factory one. All right, we'll see you guys next time.